Hello, this is Scott. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I cover a variety of different data science analytics topics, everything from discussions to software demonstrations. Today I'm going to be talking about R, specifically um, visualization and plotting in R, extending our multivariate series. And specifically, I'll be talking, I'll be extending some of the things that we've talked about before, essentially some of these shingles plots that we did last time. Um, if you were with me, we looked at several different plots there. So um, now we're going to be using, and again, so, so shingles, the ability to create these cuts, these categorical uh, cuts uh, based on a continuous variable. So I recommend you look at R85 if you haven't done so already. Um, e, and then now we're going to use F, and we're going to use an explicit shingle function. So this, we're going to start with just looking at the state data. So this is going to be population. I think it's 1975 data um, that's avail available. And again, this is coming from, from SARCAR um, and, uh, and that book. So the dot plot, if I just do a sim simple dot plot, this is what essentially what I get, but you can see most of the data, I don't get much spread here in the beginning for these states, and then every kind of thing kind of moves out. Um, and so this is population density, right? So New Jersey's very dense state, and Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and Connecticut. Smaller but denser states in the, in the U.S. So um, one of the things that I could do is I can use a, the shingle command, right? So I just explicitly use this and created these these intervals, and this this provides that um, that categorical piece based upon the the actual numeric variable density. And so now, when I plot this, I'm going to plot this, and I'm going to reorder this um, by density, and uh, with that with that shingle on top of it and essentially get a broken, uh, sorry, you get a broken X axis uh, here. And so it runs up and it, it's a much better visualization, right? So that you can see the spread here for these states here um, without them running together and then an axis break where you can see the upper. So anyway, hopefully that was useful and you can join me again. We're gonna talk more about uh, these cut and stack plots next next time we meet. Thanks.